Good evening, everybody. It is such a delight to look into your beautiful faces, to see all the colors, everybody mixed together in unity and in love. I am so grateful to be here, to stand before you this evening. I'm so grateful to be an instrument in the hands of God in helping to get Maxine Duncan here. It was never my plan. I did not know. <laughs> I didn't know what God had in mind when he brought this all about, but you know, my friends called me because they know I'm the ultimate missionary. They say, Althea, come, we want to fellowship someone, and I'm there. Maxine and her mom showed up at my friend's house for dinner, out of the blue. And uh, <laughs> my friend said, we have a Jamaican here, and I said, I'll be there in a minute. And I got there, and so we, we instantly hit it off because we are of the same spirit. We saw each other, and there was instant love. So uh, she just happened to mention, you know, I, ha I'm, I have a few hits. I have, I'm a singer. I sing, and you can see me on YouTube. We pulled that up on YouTube, and we were blown away. I went straight to my state president, who is the son of our elder, uh, um, Piper, and I said, there's someone the Lord wants to use. I'm not sure exactly how. She's not a member of our church. She has nothing really to do with us, but this did not happen for me and for my entertainment purposes. I don't believe that he meant for me to listen to those songs just for me. So before we knew it, here we are. We are here, and the Spirit has borne witness to my heart that there is a God. He loves us. He's aware of us. He wants us to be unified. When we see each other, it is in love. And when there is the joy of the Spirit and the gifts of the Spirit radiate in your heart, you don't have to work at it. You don't have to try. You don't have to pretend or fake it. It comes naturally. It comes out of a heart filled with love and filled with the Spirit of God. And when you have a heart for God, it is easy to do. I don't see anyone who I don't like. I just happen to have that gift where I'm a people person. I meet people and I instantly want to tell them how much I love them. I, think I have to stop myself sometimes <laughs> because it has gotten me in trouble a few times. But... I know that God lives, and I was 14 years old in Jamaica, very confused, didn't know where to go. I looked around, it was chaos. There was, the churches had all their, their you know, speakers blaring the word of God from cars driving by. It was chaos. And I would sit in the windowsill of my window and say, Father in heaven, what is this? Where do I fill into all of this? What is happening? And you know what? Line upon line, he revealed the truth to me. He showed me who he was. That changed my life forever because I was three when my father came to the United States of America. My mom thought he was going to go ahead and have us join him here. He got married to somebody else. But God has a plan. It doesn't matter what happens in your life. If you have God, you can make it through anything that comes in your life. Because you are committed to God, it doesn't matter. Because he lives, you can face tomorrow no matter what you're going through. Well, God came for me, honey. He sent me a father who didn't look exactly like me. I was looking to the face of a white man from Idaho saying, can I call you daddy? <laughs> And he said yes. He said yes. Then I went to my friend's house, and they were taking the discussions from these handsome young men dressed in their suit and ties, and they were talking about the truths of the gospel. And I said, what is this? And they described to me that I have a father in heaven who loves me, and there's a plan for my life, and he wants to see me succeed in life, and I'm supposed to return back to him? I said, I'm on board. I went home. I said, Mom, I want to be baptized. She said, I know nothing about this. And my stepfather, the man who I look nothing alike, who I asked, can I call you daddy? He said, I know what it is. It is a good thing. Let her do it. Those were the famous last words. I am all in, like Flynn. People ask me, you're black. They don't let black people in. I said, honey, I'm in, like Flynn. God came for me. I'm going to sit down shortly, but I just want you to know I wasn't even supposed to be on this program. They just asked me because someone got sick, and I am so happy. <laughs> Here I am, Lord. I pray to be your instrument all my life. Use me up until I'm all used up, Father. I am yours. I am committed. 
So I am grateful to be here. This gospel has changed my life, and it is the best thing that's ever happened to me. And that is my testimony from the depths of my being. I cannot begin to describe to you how many mountains he has moved, all the things he has done to just, to just show me his love. And I know he'll do the same for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. amen.